we're going to Asda. Hello. Are you laughing at Asda? Yeah, because you were mid-talking and I just got bored of talking. So I'll yeah, see that on the camera, too, camera, so I had to like, start my life again and just say hello. So that my conversation wasn't recording. Actually snowing. At least I think so. I definitely think so. That's a pile of books over there. That is a pile of books that I have just decided to get rid of. So that many books are going to be less in my room. So that's good. I'm really pleased with that. I don't really know what else to put in this vlog because I've got like nothing apart from this morning and then like three seconds ago. So yay. Okay, so it's really weird because literally just now. Um, basically, like, ten minutes ago, this, like, barking was, like, well, basically, mum took Lola out for a week, and then she heard, she saw this, like, thing in the dark. Turns out it was a dog. Unfortunately, my dad and my sister went round to look for its owner, and unfortunately, um, they didn't find her owner. So right now, we're all going to bed, and she is in my sister's room downstairs. It's because we don't want to bring her upstairs, just in case it upsets. Well, because it would upset Lola. So, yeah. And it's so weird because I said before that I had nothing to film. And nothing had really happened. And then all of a sudden this dog just turns up. And I'm like, what the hell? It's like, on purpose. <laughs> and like, we didn't find its owner. And it's like, what? <laughs> Bit weird. But then again, it is like half ten at night. So, I don't blame them. I mean, some people might not have answered the door. But I don't know. I think Chloe's going to take it to take her to the vets tomorrow. <laughs>
she's so cute. But as lovely and cute as she is, I hope we actually manage to find her owner and she gets home safely. Because it's about the dog, not about us.